Hundreds turned out along Interstate 15 in Temecula today to say goodbye to a beloved and respected man. This show of support was for Rancho Santa Fe Fire Captain Chris Mertz, who lost his battle with COVID-19 last Wednesday. He was the first firefighter in San Diego County to die of COVID, and it's believed that he contracted the virus while responding to a call. News 8's Tim Blodgett shows us how the 30-year veteran is being remembered. In Temecula, hundreds lined up on overpasses like this to say a final goodbye to Fire Captain Chris Mertz. It was a fitting send-off for a man who dedicated his life to service. Hundreds of people line the overpasses on Highway 15 in Temecula, waving American flags and waiting for the procession of Fire Captain Chris Mertz. On Wednesday, Mertz lost his battle with COVID-19. He was 54. Chris was the type of guy that would help anyone. Loved the fire department, loved helping people, volunteering at schools. Amy Wyatt is a close friend and neighbor to the Mertz family. Just the funnest guy in the world. Always good natured, always joking, and um, constantly doing stuff with his family. Family trips, vacations, backpacking, camping was all him. Though Mertz worked for Fire Station 5 in Rancho Santa Fe, he and his family resided in Temecula. And if there was any indication on what he meant for his community, today's display along the freeway should tell you. Mertz answered the call of duty on 9-11 and during Hurricane Katrina. He was a part of the Forest Service's hotshot crew and was a camp counselor for children who were burn victims. He was a devoted father and husband. Oh my God, he's the best. Like, I just can't tell you, he is the best. He, you know, when I had a hard time, he said, don't worry about it, I got you and the kids. That's just the type of guy he was. Mertz was taken to the hospital on January 4th with COVID-19 symptoms, and in just weeks, he succumbed to his illness. On this day, flanked by his colleagues in the fire department, the body of Fire Captain Chris Mertz was taken from the Temecula Valley Hospital to a funeral home in Menifee. A final send off to a man who lived to serve the public. Everybody's famous last line about Chris is, is the world lost a good person today. It, it's just, he's always been involved in the community, schools, everything, and with the fire department. And so everybody's reeling. Tim Blodgett, News 8. Oh, what is it? He has two daughters in the Air Force. His son is in is a Cal Fire firefighter, so just a really wholesome all-American family, beloved by many. Yeah, lost a hero. Yeah.